The following are some highlights from the book Models Attract Women Through Honesty by Mark Manson. Here's something I can tell you that is absolutely true. Porn harms your motivation to pursue women in real life. As we all know, as men, the more we masturbate, the more interested we become in food and television, and the less we become in women and accomplishing something. Ejaculation in men actually causes a depletion of various hormones and endorphins, which often lead to useful behaviors as well as motivation. Men who have masturbated constantly since adolescence often masturbate so hard and furiously that they desensitize their penis to realistic scenarios. I've talked to guys who literally said around reading dating advice for years without ever taking action but on my masturbation and porn diet within two weeks they were out there meeting women and trying to get dates so without further ado here it is so this is mark manson's masturbation and porn diet first thing is end all pornography immediately starting today block every porn site you know of indefinitely this may sound horrible or extreme but trust me you will thank me in a month limit your masturbation to once a week schedule it pick a day i usually pick monday do not deviate from your masturbation schedule if you want an even larger dose of motivation limit your masturbation to once every two weeks Again, pick a day and hold yourself to it. When you masturbate, you're only allowed to fantasize about women you've met and have not had sex with. She has to be real, and she has to be someone you have not slept with, but obviously want to. When you masturbate, use lotion or lube. Do it slower than usual. Drag it out longer than 10 minutes if you can. Take your time with it. Enjoy it. You don't get to do this every day, remember? Follow this for a few weeks and you should find yourself motivated. If you mess up or give in, just start over again. Don't be hard on yourself. Ideally, within a couple weeks, the idea of going out to approach women should sound exciting to you instead of a chore. This is good, so go out and do it. It's funny because even before reading that in this book, I stopped watching any kind of artificial sexual content since mid-December. So that was just a half a month ago, I guess. One of the statements that I write every morning says, you don't consume porn or artificial sexual content. I stole that from a friend who was writing or reading that rather um, on a daily basis. It sounded really good, so it sounded something worth stealing. It's more reasonable than the no fat movement because the no fat movement just says cold turkey don't ever masturbate at all but this one is a scheduled day once a week or once every two weeks which sounds doable and reasonable and the way he's talking about how to masturbate he's going against the idea of using a death grip and just fucking up your senses so i think i'm gonna give it a try since i've already cut artificial sexual content out the next step for me is to limit masturbation to once a week ideally once every two weeks i'll try the once every every two weeks and if it's too hard then I'll switch to once every week. Pretty interesting tips in this book in all aspects not just dating advice but also like no fat related advice or partial fat limited fat. <laughs> It sounds like a good idea, so I'll give it a try. I wanted to read this instead of doing flute practice, so I guess I'm spending more time reading than doing my other priorities. But at least it's reading instead of like a YouTube binge. 1% better every day, baby. Today is a cold morning. It's like minus 5 degrees Celsius right now. I wore my super warm line pants uh, with fleece inside and I'm glad I did. But my feet are cold and that's the first time this winter. I guess this is a typical Canadian December, if anything, but so not used to it because it's been above average temperature for this whole year so far. This whole winter at least. Take a dig. Take a dig.